Hi folks, Jeff from Orange Acres Cars and today we're going to show you the elusive, hard to find 1996 Subaru Outback 5 speed with the good motor and the good motor is the 2.2 liter. Uh, why is it the good motor? Well, if you ordered an automatic, you got the 2.5, and if you ordered a 98 in a 5 speed, you got the 2.5. But in 96, they only they didn't have the tranny uh, available for the 2.5 for the 5 speeds, or so they gave you a 2.2. And why is that better? Well, the 2.2 is a single cam motor. It doesn't have the dual cams, it doesn't have the rod knocks, it doesn't have the lifter ticks, it doesn't have the head gasket burnouts that the 2.5 liter has. Subaru admitted this in 2002 and redesigned all their dual cam 2.5 liters to be single cam 2.5 liters just like this single cam 2.2 liter. So now you had your free education on Subaru evolution and uh, let's take a look at this 2.2 liter 96 Subaru Outback. Now we're going to take a look here. As you can see, it's got the uh, 205-75R15s. They came with a factory lift kit and the bigger tires on the Outback. That's the difference. Your regular Legacies had 14-inch tires. They didn't have the, the ground clearance, as much ground clearance as the Ford Explorer had. Um, it's the Outback wagon, all-wheel drive. Everything was standard by 96 in Subarus. Every one of them had all-wheel drive. I'll show you there's a little damage right here. In that bat, right below that tail light, and there's a couple little scratches along this side in here, and near the door handle. So it's not like she's perfect, but mechanically wise, it runs and drives fantastic. And they are just hard to find. They just stop because there's so many bad ones. There's so many from '96. All the automatics in, the, and the automatic transmissions were bad too. That was another problem they had. I didn't think their automatics were very good. 134,596. That is super low miles for a 1996. You got to figure it's 14 years old. That's less than 10,000 miles a year on this. And you can see. Let's turn on that AC. See if the AC works. It's gonna be hard to tell because it's kind of cold today. But yep, it blows cold immediately. Notice the difference in the temperature. Power windows and locks. Of course, it's got the rear hatch back there. Pop the hood on it, and you can see that five speed. It's got the e brake fun. Let's pull that e brake in the center there. I haven't cleaned it, this is just the way we got it. See, it's got a disc changer. I don't know if that works or not. And it's got some blood spiral all over the carpet. No, it's not blood, but I'm just probably sew it or something like that. But I'm just gonna say it's blood because it's funny. That's it. That's the problem with the wagon. Everybody can see you're carrying a body in the trunk, you know, so. Now, I want you to take a look at this right here. I want you to look at this plate. See, I'm underneath the rear hatch, okay? When you look at a Subaru, I want you to open up the rear hatch, and I want you to look at this. Because every one of these rusted, but the ones that were local, like this one with the Four Seasons emblem, the ones that were local, this piece is in relatively good condition. All the operating stuff works and all that kind of stuff. It has a little surface rust, but it's not like the end of the world. You get the ones that come from back east that are the rust buckets that people are bringing out of Minnesota and Pennsylvania and uh, New York and all those kind of stuff. When you open this back hatch up, you're going to see, more than likely you're going to see this piece is probably rusted all the way through and it doesn't even work. You're going to see that it's so bubbly and nasty and rusty that it's falling apart. Or you're going to look underneath there and you're going to see it spray painted black because a lot of people, they know that people check for it. So they try to spray paint it back, black, cover it up, you know. But the rust buckets that we see in those Subarus, that's how you, that's the telltale sign that, that, that you have a rust bucket by opening up that back end. But this one is super clean. It's just a little bit of surface corrosion on there. But I mean, it's obviously, it's a Four Seasons rig. It's not from back east. So let's take a look at the rest of it here. I need to pop the hood. It's got the Subaru roof rack on the Outback hat. The Outbacks also had this little bit of a raise to the roof. Gave it a little bit more cargo area inside. It's the other thing that was different between the Legacy and the Outback, besides the lift kit and all that kind of stuff. It's got the, the bug deflector on the front. Looks real sharp. Ah, there she is. 
That's the 2.2, folks. That's that's what you want. That's what you're paying for on this one. You're going, how come this 96 is more money than this 97 is? How come this 96 is more money than the 98 is? That's because 98 had a 2.5 liter and it was junk. Take it to the Subaru inspection, guys. Take it down to Rico, down at the Subaru specialist. He's not even going to look at your car. He's, you're going to call him up on the phone and I'm going to say, I want a pre-purchase auto inspection on a 98 with a 2.5 liter. Uh, and he's going to say, don't bring it here because it is junk. Every one of them is junk. Don't buy it. That's what they tell him. That's why I don't sell them. Because every mechanic tells you right up bat that 2.5 liters are junk. So if it's, I mean, if it's after 2003, which is a nice rig, but you're not going to find one under, you know, under eight, nine thousand bucks, you know. And if you find one at eight and nine thousand bucks, it's gonna have some miles on it, you know. But everybody wants a little miles. Everybody wants a good motor. Everybody wants this rig. You better come down and buy it before somebody else does. Now this is how you tell. See that little camera? See that circle right there? That's it's because it has just one circle. That's because it is a single cam motor. You can see the one single on this side. That's a single cam motor. If it's got two, if you can see where that belt goes around two circles. That's because it's a dual cam. That's the newer ones have the dual cam. So listen to me, folks. I know what I'm talking about. This 2.5 is a four cylinder. They're boxer engines. So it's got two cylinders going this way. It's got two cylinders going that way. They're H4 is what they call them. They're not an inline four. They're very well balanced. It's kind of like a Porsche motor, but instead of being in the back of the car, it's in the front of the car. So good, good run. I think it looks like here it has a timing bell was installed at 129,000 miles on it so there you go it's got anti-lock brakes yep there's the anti-lock brake module and it's got a newer Napa battery I don't know what more you could look for I, I mean if I could get 10 of these cars I would get 10 of them if it doesn't sell I'll keep it for myself because there are people who love these cars so much in 20 years they're gonna talk about man those are good cars it's got dual airbags it's got analog brakes you're gonna come and see this hey we're 13 miles north of Missoula on highway 93 north there's highway 93 north right there so it's just a quick drive hey it might be 13 miles but it's 13 miles of 65 and 75 all the way here so it's definitely worth the drive. You'll be here quicker than you what you can drive across Missoula. Uh, just go out to, uh, uh, from Reserve Street, it's 18 miles. You go five miles west on I-90 and you hit up on Highway 93 North, 13 miles, and you'll see us there. It's Orange Acres Cars. If you want to take this one for a test drive, make sure you give me a call first so you know that I'm here. My number is 370-5466. Otherwise, you're always welcome to stop by and take a peek at it. But if I'm in town, I'm not here. And sorry, you're out of luck, Chuck. You're not, I'm not going to be able to take you for a test drive on it, and uh, I'm not going to be able to take your money. And you know what? And then by the t next time you come, somebody else probably would have already bought it. So, but you know, uh, I don't even know why I'm making this movie because it's probably even going to sell before I get it all the way uploaded to the internet. So, but uh, thanks for tuning in, folks. If you like this this car, come check it out. It's a $49.95, super clean, 135,000 mile '96 Subaru Outback Legacy. Thanks for tuning in. And